So over here is um so over here is um so here is, um, right here I said, John, would you do it? Uh, today's video is to talk about OBS and setting up OBS for screen capture. Um, if you want to create a training video, uh, how to uh, how to do something? Well, that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm demonstrating how I set up OBS for maximum uh, quality. So to download OBS, uh, just go to Google or you can go to obsproject.com. Click on the link, and then you want to download OBS Studio, either uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux. That's the version that you'll download. You can see right now we're at uh, 18.0.1. After you install OBS, you'll open it up. Now I'm going to show you another instance of OBS. This is my current instance of OBS, and you can see I have the uh, video capture set up on the upper right here. Now this is this is the other instance of OBS. This is the way I set up things. Let's add a uh, scene. Now the scene I'm adding is down the bottom left here. Click on the plus. Call this training. And under sources, we need to add a source. So we will add. Display capture. After it's added, you want to select your monitor that you want to dis uh, capture the display from. If you have multiple monitors, this is how you're going to select it. If you have multiple of the same monitors, you're going to figure out on your own which one is what. So I'm going to capture from my monitor. Now you have to remember the resolution. My monitor here is 2560 by 1600. Now that that's added, we want to go to settings. And we'll go right to output. Uh, output mode, simple, is sufficient. Under streaming, we can have a bit rate of 18,000. I prefer that because it provides highest quality. The encoder, x.264 and your uh, audio bitrate. You want to pick a path under recording for where you want to store uh, the recording as, as they're created. The recording quality we set as same as stream. And the recording format I set as MP4 because then I can easily import it into Adobe Premiere. The audio, you want to pick your audio source. So I chose uh, my Yeti. Rather than selecting default, I chose Yeti. I have the, uh, the blue Yeti microphone. Under video, you want to make sure that your bass and your scale are identical. That way there's no... Um, scaling occurring because if you have scaling during a training video especially where you're showing uh, software like this where you have a, a small dpi and the letters are small uh, when you scale it down it might be tough to read the wording and it wouldn't have a very professional look uh, for your your viewers and after that you're pretty much done that's really the setting then you want to record the video and you would start recording and that would save it now you have to keep in mind that with the mp4 video file if you encounter a crash or uh, power outage the file will not close properly and it will be useless you will not be able to do anything with that video if you select a different type like an mkv file uh, you would have the ability that during a crash you would be able to still use the video that was recorded up until that point. 
All right, so I'm going to stop the recording of this video, and we'll play back a little bit so you can see and hear uh, what the recording was like. And I'm going to record using the other settings, uh, so you won't see my video because I did not set up the video capture. I'll record using the other settings in the other uh, instance that I have running. So I'll stop recording. Okay, so now I'm recording from the other instance of OBS. And we will show you the latest. If you want to create a training video, uh, how to uh, how to do something. Well, that's exactly what I've done. You have them all. Okay, so now that's working for me. Now I have my microphone's gain set up pretty high. And I'm not losing any any voice now while I'm playing this back. So this seems to be working fine. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, most importantly, make sure you subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for other uh, videos I'll have. My 3D printer is coming soon, so we'll, we'll be seeing a lot of videos on that. And at the end of this video, you're going to see links to my other videos. So over here is... Um, so over here is... Um, so here is um, so right here... Right here is the subscribe button. On the other side of that is a playlist. The next one down below on the, the bottom left is... Uh, the best for you uh, video and the one directly below is the most popular video anyway thanks for watching